Hello everybody and welcome back to Look Be A Landlord. I've sort of decided to throw this game a little bit into the weekend slot because do you know what? We've not really got a mainstay game right now so kind of using Risk of Rain and Look Be A Landlord kind of to fill those gaps while we've got it going. But anyways, let's get right into it. Of course, if you haven't seen the previous episode, Look Be A Landlord is a really cool slot machine type roguelike. Very, very strange concept, but very, very fun. It's all about matching up symbols and trying to get the best combination to get the n enough money to pay rent. It's very strange how it's a slot machine paying rent there's all sorts of weird stuff going on but anyways let's get right into it first rent we got to pay 25 and let's see what we can get so we're hoping for a good synergy some good stuff to come together here toddler is actually really good at the start it's going to eat candy and pinatas and uh give us extra money whenever he does that so we'll be looking for those um We'll, get, we'll take a dog. We'll take a dog. They very rarely synergize, but some of their synergies can be quite good. In fact, we'll take another one. Um, so we've got some very basic symbols right now, but eh. Owl's pretty good. We'll take an owl. Owl can, can pop off. Gives us one, but every three turns gives us a little bit extra. I quite like that. Let's go with a chemical seven here. This is going to give us one of these sevens. We get three of them. We get 77. And hey, why not take another one? We've already got two. There you go. We are one off. Getting 77. Ooh, this is a tough one. Cats are really good because they can synergize really well in the late game with um, the lucky cat item. It's really, really good. Essentially, it means we're going to get more rare items. So we'll go for that. But at the minute, we're, we've got a very basic setup here. I doubt we're going to get much going on from what we currently have. Let's take a rabbit because everything's just giving us one. It's kind of normally... Okay, we can take a candy here for a toddler. Um, It's kind of normally quite easy to tell early on how good your run is going to be and this one isn't particularly good i have to say we've not got anything stand out that i'm that i'm noticing is going to be really really good um yeah let's let's go with the sloth uh let's have a little look see here we'll take a piggy bank as well it's going to fill up with coins and allow us to maybe pay rent if we can't quite afford it later on um we're going to skip all of those right now. I'm just hoping our um, our dogs pay off. We don't need another toddler. You generally only need one of those. Again, I'm going to skip. I'm trying to build synergies here, so I don't want to broaden what we currently have too much. But there we go. We just got a chemical seven. Ooh. I like the way you can pet the dogs. I never knew that. <laughs> that's so cool. But now we just got an extra 77 here. So that's a huge get this early on. Um... We could take a bear. We can take a bear. Because the good thing is as well, like, we have a lot of animals going on, so getting a beast master could work. Let's take another chemical seven. We'll keep building up to that. This could work out for us. We are still in a sticky spot, but that allowed us to pay rent quite handsomely. We've got more than enough to get to next rent as well. We're going to skip on this one. And let's just take the two symbols, see what we get. Light bulb, shiny pebble, and key. Let's take a shiny pebble and let's take a wealthy capsule. Yeah, this is a bit of a, a bit of a shoddy start, to be honest. Got another owl there. Let's go for that. I'm kind of right now hoping for a beast master. That would be the best thing we can get. Uh, let's take another dog and we can pet all our doggies. I love that. Uh, won't take any of those. We're really looking for things that either synergize or give us standout amount of points. And we don't really have any of that right now. Five-sided die can be good, but I feel like it ends up blocking up your board. And considering we've already paid rent, let's not bother. We've not even filled up our board yet, which is kind of rare this early on. So that's kind of a bit, bit strange. It's, it's not really worrying because it does mean we can still fill up with a lot of stuff and we're still paying rent. But then again, the chemical seven was kind of one of the big reasons why we ended up paying that. We'll go with a bronze arrow and... Yeah, Rusty Gear, if three or more of the, um, of the same symbols are adjacent and not blank, they give extra, which we actually do have a good chance of uh, with our dogs and owls and such. So we might be able to keep building into that. We're going to keep skipping though for now. A little bit risky with the amount of skips we're going for. We're just holding out. Let's take a wolf. Wolves are actually pretty cool and we can get some synergy with dogs. Watermelon, that just gives straight up four. I'm very happy to take that. Uh, that's just straight up extra base money and i think early on that's really important we're not going for cultist build or anything like that right now so there's no point taking any cultists we've had we've actually had quite a few of them offered to us but we don't really want them we'll go for yet another owl here um owls owls are always really good i i, I find owls great there's actually an item that makes them even better as well because they pay out sooner so let's hope we get that in the near future that'd be really nice um we didn't quite afford rent there 
Ah, we didn't afford run at all. Unfortunately, we were like six off. But as I said, we didn't get any of the synergies. We needed that run. So this game's got very quick turnover. It's very likely that you that you lose your runs if you don't get the synergies early on. I found that in this game. Um, we can go for the oyster again. We we played this last time on the um when when we last got it. We we got, grabbed a few oysters and got a bunch of pearls. It's a very risky play in my opinion. Because if he doesn't pay off, you've got a bunch of pearls that don't really do anything. But it can make for some greatness. Um, let's go with a Makishka doll. Um, we'll take another piggy bank here. And yeah, hopefully this this will fill up our board, uh, our board relatively quickly. So that's good at least uh, in early on. But we need like a diver or something to sort that out later on. We'll take a void creature here. Um... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep skipping. We're gonna we're gonna try and go for the diver synergy again. I think that worked out really well last time. We'll take a cat just for the lucky cat synergy later on. Uh, I tend to get lucky cat quite a lot, so if I can go for it, I will avoid stone there as well. Hmm. We'll take the mining pick just in case we get any ores later on. I think it's kind of worthwhile just to not have to worry about that. And um. We'll grab another key. We'll grab another. We got two keys at the minute. We'll grab another one because we could get some chests going on. I don't want three keys though. That's a, that's that's a little bit much. Okay, there's, there's our void creature gone. Take another owl. They 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 always work out. Apart from when they don't. Uh, take another doll. I like the dolls. They work out quite well. The the they've got a little bit of a setup to them, but when they when they finally actually pay off, they are pretty good. Uh, right, who we got next? Chemical 7? Yeah, we'll take a Chemical 7. And we'll take the Swear Jar. Again, this the Swear Jar plus Piggy Bank is actually pretty good for getting out of a bind. Um, that might actually help us out quite a lot. I'll take a Flower. I don't need it, but there is some good Flower synergies. And if we get offered them, I'm going to take them. Here's a Locker Box. Hopefully, our keys give us what we need for that. We're going to take another Doll. This is doubling down quite hard actually um on on a few specific key interactions so i'm a little worried if they don't pay out take another cat we're, we're, we're doubling down on like three different interactions at the moment that, that none of them we have the payoff for yet so skip that um pizza the cat that helps out we're getting two per cat we have three or four cats now so that's good um we'll take a crab but yeah this is a little risky i'm i'm a Ooh, Robin Hood already. Okay, this is great. So he takes away four over um, over the course. Actually, we'll just go into the inventory and, and look at him. He takes um, four away every turn over four turns. So that's like, uh, what is it like? Four, eight, 12, 16. But then he gives 29. So he's going to be giving a lot more than we're losing. The only problem is if he, if he takes away before rent comes, you end up not getting that payout before rent and you actually lose money on him. But I think generally he, he's pretty good. We definitely want the thing that makes us pay out quicker now, though. That'd be great. Not going to take any of those. As you can see, there's pearls absolutely everywhere now. We are chock-a-block with pearls. Um, we'll take a ninja. A little bit extra. As you can see, our dolls are actually working out quite nicely for us at the moment. Quite nicely, indeed. Ooh. Oh, we're way off rent. Oh, thank God. God damn. Okay, I I did I did not pay much attention to that. We are way off rent. Okay, we got to be careful on this next turn. I doubt we'll be able to get there unless we get the items we need. Um, take a bronze arrow, hoping that that helps us. Of course, it points directly up. Diamond or mega chest? We'll take a mega chest here because uh, the mega chest gives three on its own, and then if we manage to crack it open, it's even better. But <laughs> as you can see. We are uh, pearled to the brim right now. A little bit too much, sir. I do say so myself. Another cat. We, we're we really banking on these synergies and they're just not coming. Okay, there you go. Robin Hood paid out there. Another cat. <laughs> this is super risky. Why am I... Yeah, I gotta say, that was such a bad tactic. But then again, if you don't bank on those synergies, then you're you're gonna be in a, in a different world of hurt later down the line. You've, you've got to try and gamble. I mean, this game is all about gambling. That's kind of the whole point. But you've got to go for these gambles just to try... Hey, another cultist. Just to try and get that extra value. Um, because if you can, it's absurdly good. We'll take a wealthy capsule here. Um, lunchbox. Let's just go with a common two symbols. Um, 
Bear, Bounty Hunter, Monkey, no. Lucky Caps, so we'll take a Lucky. Okay, we're really hoping for more cultists here. This is the... Ooh, Mrs. Fruit this early is incredible. Incredible. We might be able to build onto that. So let's just quickly pay attention. So we're taking bananas, cherries, coconuts, oranges, peaches, and plums. We have to take all of those. We're going to try and stick to those. He's already got the cherry. So this is going to do two really good things. It's going to clear the board out for us, but it's also going to make her pay out more and more every turn. So we'll give her a banana now. The thing is, while our board is quite is quite empty, it's going to be hard for her to get her adjacent to these things. Um, we'll take a sloth. We'll take piggy bank as well. We, we maybe should have... We maybe, sh maybe should have taken compost there, because uh, compost would have given us seeds, but I don't really like seeds, because the thing is, they can grow into things that you don't want, like flowers that we don't want, and fruit that Mrs. Fruit can't eat, and it just it ends up being a risk of filling the board with stuff that you don't actually need. Um, so I didn't want to take that risk there. Banana again. Come on, Mrs. Fruit. Get next to those bananas. Cherries. Hey, there we go. Unfortunately, these bananas are going to create banana skins. Uh, go for another owl, which will fill our board a little bit. So I'm not going to take too many bananas. But while she's eating them, I'm happy. Okay, she's up to five already. That's pretty quick going. That's pretty quick going. We'll take another sloth. We'll take that, the tax evasion. Just in case we take anything later that takes things away from us. We're not going to take another banana. We're going to end up filling too much with uh, banana peels here. We've already got two that we can't get rid of. We'll go for an item capsule here. Okay, she's up to six. This is going well. And uh, thank you. Good, good earnings. We'll take another sloth. We're going, we're going kind of sloth heavy, heavy right now, which is tough because they don't always give stuff. Ooh, more cherries. Good, good. But when they do pay out every two turns, it's it's a it's a reasonably decent payout. Rare Ruby. Early on, that's good enough for me. And I'll also take ourselves this as well, the lucky cat. We've only got one cat right now, so it's not affecting us too much. But if we see a few more cats in the future, we'll take them. We'll take another cultist, because we're on three now. And you can actually see we have a lot of symbols paying out with three. We'll go for a bronze arrow. And it pointed at Mrs. Fruit as well for 14. That's big bucks early on, that is. Um, damn. We kind of need something to destroy these banana peels. And I think the only thing we can do for that is thieves. I think thieves don't destroy banana peels and give us extra money. Not hex of thievery. You've he you've misheard me, game. Come on now. You've misheard me. Um, peaches. She'll eat a peach. Hey, she's, she's making her way up there. We got her early on enough that we should be able to get quite a lot of her. We'll take some rabbit's fluff. We want some rarer stuff going on here, so I'm okay with a rabbit's fluff in there. And it pays out with two anyways, so we're just above rent. Not as much above it as I'd like to be, honestly. Let's go with Wealthy Capsule. Clear Skies is really good. Um, It's not something that we need right now, but we can build towards it, maybe. Uh, hustling or a safe. We'll take a safe. We might be able to get that crack that open at some point. We still haven't filled our board yet, though. We still don't have enough icons to fill our board. Still having empties, so... Oh, there we go. When bronze points at you, we'll take a void creature here, why not? There you go. Just kills itself at eight, why not? Another cultist. Okay, cultists are in a good spot now. Cultists are in a good spot. Um, Item capsule yet again. I think that's always going to be good, even if we get something like coin in the string, which is relatively useless. Uh, we'll take another lucky. Oh, we should have taken the peach. I don't know. Lucky capsules are maybe kind of better. Okay, I can easily pay rent here. Chef. Hmm. Now, this is a difficult one because we're going to get extra for our fruit, but she's going to eat it. I think we take the chef anyways. Symbols that add have a two times higher chance to add. Okay, go for that. Yeah, I think that actually kind of works out because the chef can affect... Say the cherry ends up here. 
unmatched. He will affect it for double points, then she will eat it. The apparently NPCs, that's what I'm going to call them. They're not NPCs, you know what I mean. But people can actually, like, affect things even if it gets destroyed in the same turn. Like, two different characters can affect the same thing. There you go, look, you saw it happen there. So the chef is still useful. Okay, keep skipping. I think we've got an okay synergy here. I'd like to get one more cultist in the mix. Not going to take any hexes right now. Yeah, I'd like to get one more cultist in the mix just to make make it a little higher points getting. Ooh, we will take ourselves um, an extra one of those catty cats. Coconut. Wait a minute. Let's see. Do, do you like coconut halves? You do. Okay, so that's fine. I think taking a coconut's fine because the coconut halves are still going to give us extra points. And we'll skip on those. Nice. Okay, easily paying rent right now, which is nice. Got a mine there. We really don't want any of these. Um, yeah, all, all, of our, all of our humans give one more point. Why not? Wait, does that affect cultists as well? If it does, that's amazing. It does. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Let's take another cat. Okay, so we finally filled our board. Ninja, no thank you. There we go. Okay, that, that was good. That was good. And another chemical seven. Let's go for that. Oh, we don't. I thought we already had one. We don't. Thinking of the previous run. 51 or 10, though. This is pretty good. Jokers are insanely good, but we just don't have the um we don't have the, the build for them. We only have one symbol. I, I don't even think we take him. Although he could be good, we have to diversify our build quite a lot. And that's a bit risky. Maybe over with an item capsule here. Eh, we got something pretty bad there. That's okay. Another cultist. That's amazing. Especially considering these cultists are getting an additional one point. So there's four of them on screen, but we're getting five for every one of them. And then if five of them are on screen, just keep scaling. Just keep scaling. It's great. Silver arrow is quite nice. Um, whenever a symbol is destroyed, that's good. Mrs. Fruit's going to be eating stuff. We haven't had her eat stuff in quite a while, though. We haven't really grabbed anything for her to eat. But there you go. Plum. Damn, I maybe should have taken the thief, though, to get rid of these banana skins. Orange will take that as well. We just got to hope that they line up. I mean, she's still giving us a very, very good amount of stuff. But as you can see, Chef's not really showing up as much anymore. Diamond. I'm going to take a diamond. Straight up five is pretty good. Okay. Void creature. That's just going to kill itself, so we'll take that. But Mrs. Fruit's not really getting near these pieces of fruit that we wanted to, sadly. But... We get even on the bad turns, we're still getting a good amount. We're still getting over 30. Just wish you'd spawn near these things, woman. Come on. It, like, we need to destroy them for the extra, the extra money, but also it helps us because it means it clears more room for new things. So there's like double the reason. But we're, we paid rent just about. Okay, none of these really interested me. Um, ooh, okay, that's that's kind of good. I can take hexes that won't give they won't give any extra effects. Strawberry, yeah, we'll take a strawberry that can be affected by the chef. It can't be eaten either, so that kind of works out for us. But we're, we're we're still missing like two or three really good synergies here. Item capsule again. And Mrs. Fruit. Why won't you eat things? We're gonna take a thief here and hope it gets hope he gets killed. <laughs> hope he slips and falls. Don't, don't think we want anything. We've already got two banana peels, we don't need another one of them. Of course he's not gonna spawn anywhere near them though, is he? Another sloth? My god, we don't want that. Yeah, he's not spawning anywhere near them. We do have the tax evasion as well, so the thief isn't going to steal quite as much as he normally would. Right, he's not on the board at all this time. 
Keep skipping. I think we're not even going to be able to afford rent here. Oh, we, we just about got rent. We just about got rent. Um, I would love to do a General Zaroff run, but it's just not going to work. Let's go for another chef. Uh, shedding season. I don't think we need that. Let's just go with Oswald. None of them are very good for us, though. Oh, there you go. We finally got rid of one of our banana skins and the thief. I'm going to go for another cat just for extra rarity's sake. Hey, and there's a really, really good thing. We've got the golden arrow now. Four times value if it points at something. We'll take a watermelon as well. Oh, ho, ho. this is going to be big. 64. Huge get. Huge get. This golden arrow, as long as it points at something, it's going to give us pretty ha damn high values. If it points at uh, Mrs. Fruit, then then it's it's a very good turn. Great stuff. Great stuff. We should be able to afford rent here with the golden arrow helping us out. It's given us a few very, very positive turns here. Let's risk it with a seed, shall we? Yeah, we've got a coconut. Okay, that works out. Still would like to have the coconut halves get eaten, so maybe I'll take a monkey if one comes up. We do have four co We are Well, once this coconut gets eaten, we're going to have four coconut halves, which is quite a lot. And I'm not really... I got the hex cancelling thing, but I'm not really that bothered about the hexes right now. 650 rent. Good, good. Beastmaster. Okay, let's let's just take a little look here. Beastmaster. We've got three sloths, four cats. So that would, they would, and two owls. They would all be affected. Whereas the moon would give three times extra. Hmm. It adds three cheese when any of these are destroyed. We don't have any synergy with cheese. Let's just go for the Beastmaster then, I think. Checkered flag's nice with, with the sloths. We've diversified ourselves a little too far, I think, here, to be honest. I think we're in a bit of a bit of a tough spot. Apples, nice. This, yeah, yeah, that, that did well. Cherries, we'll take that. Mrs. Fruit hasn't been around for a while, to be honest. I don't know where she's gone. She's gone on a, on a vacay, I think. She's just not involved at all anymore. Joker again. It's annoying when you see the Joker being such a good person to take and then no reason to take him. And then, of course, these two arrows are like, nah, pal. I'm not going to help. Another chef? I kind of think it's good to take another chef. Higher likelihoods of us getting bonuses. And it means we can take more things. Lucky capsule for an extra bit of luck on the next turn. Arrow. Why? They always spawn at the top or bottom. They always point the opposite way. And another Beastmaster. Okay. Good. Orange. Come on, Mrs. Fruit. Why do you why didn't you spawn near any of the fruit? Come on. No. Unfortunate failure. We'll go for one more, see what we do. That one was just too diversified. We had like three or four different things going on at once there. We'll take an early key here. The key could help out. Take an early cheese as well. I think the the, the cheese and the mouse, like eat, eat, eating one another, and the alcohol and the dwarf and the toddler and the candy are really good things to take early on. They really help out. Let's go for a golden goose as well early on. I think they're pretty, pretty good early on. Um, again, we'll take a chemical seven here. I'm just going to take a pool ball here as well. It really depends if you get the, the synergies though. An owl, but as, as of yet, all the things we've taken haven't really worked out. But there you go. We've got a mouse for the cheese. Uh, I'll take a void stone as well. And don't want any of that. Come on, mousey. There you go. Eating that cheese. That guarantees rent for us, which is nice. Um, we could get Ninja Mouse, so there you go. <laughs> we could get Ninja Mouse, and that's exactly what we got. So I thought we'd take that just in case we did. 
Now these two will be worth five times as much. Kind of great. Uh, void stone, why not? Um, we could take another ninja, but it'll be worth less. It's, it's better to have less ninjas and more mice, I think. Because the ninjas lower their value. So we don't really want to do that. But this is an okay start. There's another mouse. Yeah, giving us 10 for that's great. Um, What we need now is a way to, to, to get more cheese. That moon synergy would be really cool right about now. Let's go for sloth here. Red suits give more. That's kind of a good thing to get early as well. If we can take red suits, another owl. Oh, look at that. Yes. The double mouse, another owl. Cheese. If we get cheese and a ninja, it really increases the value. Okay, we kind of know what path we're going down here. Let's just try to stick to it. I'll take a dog because that could give us a good synergy with uh, the owls and the, the moon if we end up getting it. I'm really hoping we do. It's a very rare thing to get. I've not seen it too often, but if you can, clear skies. We'll take that. We probably should have taken checkered flag there, actually, because uh, it would have affected our owls a little bit. But the clear skies, it's so good. It's so good if you get the right synergies with it. But checkered flag would have given us more immediate value, definitely. I'm still going to be looking for checkered flag later, so we'll keep an eye out for that. But right now, I'm happy with our current value. I could take another ninja, but that is difficult because they'd intersect more often but we'd be getting less per ninja if there's one on screen because, as you can see, it gives less. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip on that for now and just hope for the best. Just go for more mice. If we can get more mice, that is. Uh, wealthy capsule there as well. Hmm. Wolf there. I, I, it's, it's a damn shame I didn't take checkered flag, to be honest. It would have been so much more money early on. It might have even saved us. I'm pretty sure we're getting extra for those, so let's take a heart. Um, whenever a symbol's destroyed, let's go for that. Um, no thank you on any of those. But these two are they're constantly popping off. 15 for that is pretty good. An extra bit of cheese there as well. If we keep the cheese coming, that's going to help out. And the owls are helping out a good amount anyways, even without the checkered flag. Mainly for the sloth that the checkered flag would be good. Another mouse there is great here. More chance for ninja mouse to proc. More cheese as well. Kind of really? Okay. <laughs> we were two off rent. Are you kidding? We'll do one more. That one didn't count. That was a shame. If I'd have taken checkered flag, would have been fine there. That's That's the sad truth. I was playing the long game rather than the short game. I should have I should have thought what helped us more immediately. And I didn't. Okay, I, I I do skip a little too much early on, I will admit. But I've kind of gone for a similar thing here. We've got the mice. I'll take a B. I'll take a Maxwell the bear. Yeah, we got we got a crab and we got the we got the mouse again. No, do you know what? Do you know what? This one, this one, I've messed up already. Let's let's just, let's start one more. I feel like I diversified myself too much there. Let's let's try and stick to one lane. So we got mouse. My biggest problem right now. Let's go flower. Let's try and build a flower synergy, shall we? Try and build a flower synergy. So none of them. Flowers are apparently the best things in the game to try and synergize. Let's, let's let's take a monkey as well. Early on, we have we we do have to diversify at least a little bit. We'll go with a lucky capsule, and let's go for this and see if we can get stuff for the monkey to eat. Banana, there you go. Another banana. Nice. Okay. Bartender. Um, 
I'll take a bartender. And then we can take some thieves as well down the line. So we'll take a light for our flower synergy. It's kind of the main thing I'm building towards, although I don't know how well it's going to go, I have to say. Hmm. Oh, it's always when you think, oh, I'll do this synergy, and it, it just never gives you it. This, ga this game's brutal with that. We'll take a rabbit fluff for extra luck. Uh, do, do we take a bear already? No, we didn't. Um, let's go with that. Okay. Relatively low money gain right now. Relatively low money gain. We can take yet another light bulb. They're not even anywhere near the flowers at the minute. Um, we should, probably should have taken that cheese. I'm not, I'm not happy with this run either. I kind of feel like restarting again. I know it's not a good idea to keep restarting, but... I feel like we've... Yeah, let's let's restart one more time. Let's restart one more time. I feel I feel like we're, we're bricking some runs right now. We're bricking runs. We're, we're, we're doomed for failure. I want to get a run that's got a little more to it. So let's go with an early lockbox to try and get some early value. There we go. Lockbox and key early. If we can get that open pretty soon, we'll be great. We'll take a crab. We'll take another crab. That's, that's already good. Two crabs this early is nice. Um, Hex of Destruction is always interesting. You can get some cool stuff from Hex of Destruction. I think we just go for some guaranteed value with this, though. And let's just go with two symbols. Cult... Cultus is a little late, I think. Already, I think Cultus is a little late. Let's go Shiny Pebble. And let's skip. Shiny Pebble for a slightly higher chance at some rarer things. Of course, we now it looks like we should have taken the Cultist. Hopefully, this dice can carry us a little bit wealthy. Still not opened that lockbox yet, which is kind of insane. Um, we're doing some heavy skips here, but there you go. There, it's open now. But I'm taking risks. We're well over Ren here, which is nice. Go for Rabbit Fluff. Fruit Basket, while not amazing right now, it it does help later on if that's the line we end up going down. Um, don't want any of that. We need more crabs. We've already got two. Give us more crabs. Take a diamond. We've already got two diamonds. That's kind of good. Skip on them. Okay. We'll take another locker box. Hmm. See, now it's giving me the flower synergies when I didn't take the flower. It's just this game's brutal like that sometimes. I'll take rain, I guess, anyways, because we do have one flower. The game can be real brutal sometimes. It's like, you, you can try, but... Ooh, that's good. Cats are worth three times more. I will take that. Hmm. Don't think I want any of those. Come on. Just a few more crabs, a few more card suits. Would be great. No. It's just not giving us what we want, guys. Oh, my God. Every time I go for a synergy, the, the game's like, no, no, no different synergy for you. So, like, look, now we've not got any flowers. It's like, here's all the flower synergies that you were looking for earlier. And then I'll take them, and then no flowers will show up. It's... It's brutal. It kind of makes you muddy... The game feels like it makes you muddy enough of your board with crap you don't want uh, just to mess you up. <laughs> It's the, the, the luck-based playing of this game. I, I mean, I love it. I, I love the, the whole, it is really a gamble. Do you want to gamble on going for one synergy and hope it pays off? Or do you want to take the safe route, which might not carry you as far? Um, I tend to opt for going for the um, the more dangerous approach, which often means my runs end early. But how I have more fun. Okay. I gotta say, we have a Amiga, Amiga flower synergy going on, and we're, we're, we're getting there with uh, two spins. I'm not gonna take any of them then. Um, and we're getting there with our card suits as well. I'm not gonna take any of those either. We've got enough for rent here already, which is great. Come on. There we go. 
We're going to go for card suits here. Might as well go for a pool ball. Why not? Now that we've got a good few card suits in there, some good stuff could happen. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a, a, flower, a flower and cards setup, which is very strange. I should have taken that cat, to be honest, because we have the black cat here. But we're getting enough at the minute. There's another flower. That helps out a lot. Buffing capsule, why not? We've got the board full. Once you've got the board full, buffing capsules are pretty good. We do need a key. I've, I've just realized we have a lockbox and no key right now. All those are pretty bad. Okay. Another bee. Oh my god, we've got so many bees. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're making rent the... A witch... A witch is, is kind of interesting because we only have one cat. So we'd have to we'd have to switch up our, our playstyle too much, I think. Ooh. Very big symbol bomb. You may destroy this and choose eight symbols to add. I've never had that before. Let's give it a go. Um, none of them. We'll take a light bulb. We'll take some clubs. We'll take none of them. We'll take a cat. Ooh, hello. We'll take that. Skip them. We'll skip that. Okay, not not terrible, not great. We did just get this. It's always going to give us six. Okay. Oh, I should have taken the key. I just don't want to muddy my board too much. Could take a while before the key even reaches the lockbox, and at that point, the key's worthless. Kind of a detriment there. Okay, we've, we've, we've started on some synergy with the flowers now. We've got a lot more synergy with the, the card suits, though, I think. They're definitely looking better. Um, Is Ruby worth it? Let's take a Ruby. Why not? It's it's worth three. Early, we're early days, so that's good enough. Let's not take any of that. So, we need we need a Joker. We, we need a, a Joker. We need a Card Master. Them guys are pretty good. We need a Sun, which would be really good for the flowers. We need more flowers, to be honest. We've only got two at the minute, so the flower synergy is kind of... A little bit meh until we get at least four flowers, I'd say. So I'm a little worried about that. We're, we're paying rent, though, at least. There's the Joker. Take a piggy bank as well. So Joker should should be giving us a lot here. Um, let's just be careful about what we... I think from now on, we need to be a lot more selective about what we take. Of course, the Joker hasn't shown up once yet. Um... But yeah, let's be a lot more selective about what we're grabbing. Really, he's still not showing up. We'll take a cat. Where is he? Does he exist? He's not been on the board once yet. What the hell? We're going to lose because the Joker hasn't shown up once. Where is he? Where is he? There you go, and he appeared next to no symbols. You little troll. Just look at this. This is four of them right here and no joker to help out. Okay, thank God. We paid Ren, but we we almost lost because of joke, the joker then. He, he almost messed it up. We got clear skies. We need a sun now. Okay, please, please show up a little more often, dude. Okay, there we go. That was great. That was great. Flower. We'll take another flower. We do still have a few things muddying our board that I'm not too happy with. But we're getting synergies from time to time. I just wish our Joker would be getting a little bit more than he is quite right now. He's not really getting enough. Keep going. Damn, Joker, you're just not, it's not cutting it right now, my dude. Ooh, I'm going to take that. It's risky as, as shit. I don't even know who, if, what that got rid of then. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Let's just quickly check out our inventory. So the Joker still exists. We've still got good card suits. We lost no flowers. I actually think that was all positive. I genuinely think that was all positive. I don't think we lost anything we desperately needed there. Let's take a spade. 
The Midas Bomb's obviously a, a, a tricky one to take, and it's risky because it could have destroyed our Joker. But I, I basically gambled on the fact that it wouldn't. And of course, just, he keeps... He screwed us so bad then. You were the worst Joker of all time. I'm actually going to play another one. I'm, I'm, I'm addicted, guys. I'm addicted. But that was the worst Joker pickup of all time. He did effectively nothing. We, it was my fault to partially because I muddied our board a little too much with symbols we didn't need. But also, I think it was more his fault for just never showing up for the first, like, 20 turns. And then when he did, he did nothing. He never showed up next to any of the symbols we needed him to. Oh, the luck in this game is 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 the funnest part of it, though. Like, it, it's, it sometimes sucks, but at the same time, the nature of the game. Take beer. I'll try and go for a dwarf. I'm taking goldfish here in the in the off chance we get the fish bowl. Fish and booze areas. He'll glug that down for us. What? I've never failed that early. Okay. Okay. That was not good. Goose. I can't believe I failed on 50 rent. That's crazy. Owl. Um, no thanks. I skip too many too early. That's, that's my problem. I, 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 I get too focused and I skip things too early. Go for a call. Right. What we got? Ninja. We'll take a ninja. We'll take a checkered flag, definitely. Now we can start building on that owl meta. Go for a flower. Uh, another goldfish. Another goldfish. Light bulb for the flowers. The, the light bulb only has a chance of working, though. That's, a, that's kind of a problem. Rain. We'll take that. Um, literally never going to proc, but I guess we take that. Okay. We'll take this, because remember, we got checkered flag here, so it doesn't matter if it's proccing later. Owl again. Owls are now really, really good. Really, really good. Mouse. Do we have cheese at the minute? We don't. Uh, we do have a ninja, though. Let's take a mouse because we've got a ninja. We might get ninja mouse. Don't want any of those. Okay, so we've now got somewhat, somewhat of the synergy here. I'll take another light bulb. Okay, we got rent that time. This is what this is what I mean. Like, why give me why give me hearts and spades? I'm gonna skip them. Triple coins. I'm gonna take rusty gear instead. We're gonna go for owls. So I'm hoping we can just fill our board with owls. Okay, we don't want crow. Crow is bad. I don't know if it works with checkered flag, but crow is bad. Take another turtle. Buffing capsule, why not? We've got a pretty full board right now. Sloth. Good. Anything that takes an amount of time to do its thing, we're taking them. Let's just check. Inventory. It does work on these. So let's take a magpie. Magpie's going to pay out, but it is going to mine us a few off early. Buffing, why not? I just none of these are good. I wish I wish if you skipped these, it'd give you. I'm gonna skip them because I don't need any of them. But I wish if it skipped, it'd give you rarer items, rarer symbols later on. I don't know if it may, maybe it does, but I, I don't think it does. I don't know anything about that. Here's our diamond finally. Magpie giving eight there. Is it worth taking another call? I don't think so. Rabbit fluff for the extra rarity. Why not? I like my rare symbols. I do, I do. I am capsule. I need more owls. Give me more owls. Really getting some bad stuff right now. Okay, we've got egg carton. We should take some eggs to try and fill that up. Egg carton, basically, the more you have in it, it, you can get up to six per turn if you get six eggs in the egg carton. 
You can just get an extra six coins per turn for every one egg that's in it. Screw it. <laughs> Unfortunate failure. Unfortunate failure. We will go for one more. I'm, I'm addicted to this game, I swear. I'm absolutely addicted. Key. Key's fine. There's our owl boy. You just... You didn't do any good last time, did you, owl? You lured me in with your... With your cute owl face. And then you shat all over my dreams. Terrible. Did we take that crap? No, we didn't. Okay. Um... Cool. Give me more cultists. Give me more cultists. Spades. Let's go with that. Coin on a string, why not? <laughs> it fucking died in one turn. Thanks, coin on a string. <laughs> Worthless. Okay. I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a risk here. This this is this could end very quickly because I'm playing this risky by not taking any symbols. Oh no. We've we failed again. God damn it. Nah, that's it. We got we gotta end it there. Too many failed attempts. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. Those last few runs didn't really get there. We we we, we got close. We got one run that was very close. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.